Hi Flosstube, my name is Marty and I go by Triple M Stitching here on the internet. Today is Monday, April 24th, 2023. I believe it's been about 10 or 11 days since my last video and Monday felt like a good time to kind of get into a, a better upload rhythm with and I do have some updates I wanted to share and so uh, here we are. I hope everyone's having a good start to their week and um, yeah, we, I just came off a busy weekend. It was my husband's birthday and we had a lot of really fun stuff going on with that. And so today's kind of been a good day to just kind of spend some time at home after work and regroup after lots of fun festive things this weekend. I wanted to talk about my shirt really quick. Um, it says, um, introverted, but will eagerly discuss everything cross stitch. It's from Silver Creek Samplers. Their little logo is right there in a scroll frame, which is super cute. And it's got like a DMC skein and uh, pincushion and bobbins and things like that on it. It is from Silver Creek Samplers, uh, like I mentioned. And I first saw it when the, the, the owner operator of Silver Creek Samplers wore it in a photo she took at market this year. And then everyone loved her shirt so much. Um, because it's based off of one of her designs that you can stitch. And everyone loved the shirt so much, she kind of put a poll out and asked if anyone would, would be interested in actually buying it. And a lot of us were like, yes, 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 yes. And so she released it and for like pre-order, I think. And I was able to purchase one then. I don't know if she's done another pre-order since or what her plans are with that. But... She did the polls and things in her Facebook page, so I would check out there if you're interested in it. But it is super fun, and I can't wait to wear it all the time. <laughs> so that's kind of like my only piece of haul. Um, I did order a pattern that I got on eBay, actually, but it hasn't come in yet. So hopefully next video I'll just show you that then. And so, yeah, let's get kind of, let's kind of jump right into whips, and plan, uh, we'll go into plans after that. I will first show kind of I'm referring to my planner here these are my April goals I had to take this one off because of my sewing machine debacle which I addressed in my last video and thank you to everyone who gave me some really helpful tips and, and things I wasn't able to get my sewing machine working again um, however I think I have a family member who might be able to lend me a machine and I can work on that one and learn a little bit and so Crossing fingers, that happens. So my other goal was to film two floss tubes, and once I upload this one, I can check that one off. And three days on my Santa stocking, which I'll show, and then finish my droids pattern, which I showed in my last video. And the other one was one old finish, so that was a whip from back before I returned to uh, life in the stitchy world. And I will show that as well, because I finished that this week. And then I'll talk about my May plans at the end of the video. So since, so when I was, sorry, when I was filming my last video, I was working on a new start called Be A Light by Dimensions. Here, let me organize this a little bit. There's the cover photo. Super cute, super pretty. I got this one because of Jay's stitching, J-A-Y stitching on Instagram. And, oh, that reminds me, I think... She just posted a new picture of it and she got like a lot of the background done. It looks really pretty. So if you want to see some more progress on this piece, check out her channel. But I did do some more work on it since we last chatted. This is worked on everything with the kit materials because it came all nicely kitted up. And here it is. I'm really happy with that. And I'm really happy with how the colors are working. And I think it looks super pretty on this fabric. And that needle minder is when I got, hold on, sorry, let me reposition this for you. I got this needle minder on Stash Unload like a while before I even found this pattern. It says Be the Light and it's like glittery. That's why it's kind of hard to show. Um, but yeah, so it went perfectly with this pattern. And so my goal before I stopped working on it was to finish one jar and I did. And so I went ahead and put that one away for a little bit. I'm keeping this project in this bag from, it's artwork by Autumn Lane Stitchery and it was in the Black Needle Society vault. 
Um, so I'm not sure if it's available anymore, but they do put up project bags and some cool stuff in the Black Needle Society vault page. Um, and so, yeah, that previously had his name is Jesus in it, but now I'm going to let Violet live in that one. I'm going to pause the video and gather some things I forgot to get. And I think I just heard some lawn maintenance start outside my building, so I might pause until that's over. But no time should pass for you, and hopefully all the noise will be gone. Okay, I think the lawn care has died down. I apologize if you could hear any of it previously in the video. And if it gets loud again, we'll just keep pausing and resuming until this works out. Um, the last thing I mentioned was my whip um, be a light and so after I finished that jar I wanted to move on to my old finish goal and that was I decided that the project I was going to use to meet that goal was cozy cafe by the frosted pumpkin stitchery I'd worked on it a little bit earlier in the month and I realized the finish was not far off and so I got that back out after I finished be a light and I finished it so I had a little, a little bit of stitching and some beading left to do. Well, all the beading. And the beading definitely took longer than I thought it would. Initially, I wasn't sure. I had beaded before. I had done some Mill Hill kits and added beads to a few other projects. But um, for some reason, it just took me a while <laughs> on this one. So let me show you without further ado. Um, we can show it like that. So here is Cafe Menu, or excuse me, Cozy Cafe by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. It says Cafe Menu at the top. And um, I love it so much. Let me get a good grip on it and then I'll show you the beads and everything. So yeah. I'm super pleased with this one and I wanted to get it done kind of in this time frame also because the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery is or has now released their uh, theme for this year's year long stitch along and I'm going to say what it is now. So fair warning if you want to click away and not hear it. Um, it's been released in multiple places by now, but um, if you're still waiting to be surprised, but it is Castle Homecoming, which is super exciting. I kind of guessed a castle theme based on like a few sneak peeks they did. And I think, um, yeah, I is just super excited. I think I'm going to buy the kit or at least the fabric from them. I probably won't buy the full kit because I have, I have DMC here. Um, but that is what I'm going to start. And I think, double check on the Facebook group or Instagram or their website, but I believe that things start to go on sale on this Friday um, and this is Monday when I'm filming and posting hopefully so yeah if you're interested in that keep your eye open and I finished Caf Cozy Cafe I did go ahead and put um, established 2021 which is the year that the club came out and it was the year that I started this project I finished it this year but um, it was established in 2021 because that's when I started it so that one is done. Um, I have kind of in my planner here, lots of beading. Um, it was slow going. And then, so in the chart, it kind of, not kind of, it, it called for you just to do, I think, a half stitch through the bead. Um, I went ahead and did a whole stitch so they would all lay the same. I just kind of like that look better in the end. Um, I think that's how it was in the chart. But yeah, my stitch, my beads have whole stitches like each leg of the X through it and I'm gonna pause again because I think the lawn care is back so that was cozy cafe and that is I don't, let me check what number finish that is for the year that's finish number seven for 2023 um, I have a lot of pretty small finishes um, yeah so that's exciting and then after I finished that one I picked up um, what well, was also an old whip and you have, I showed this one, I think in my first video back on floss tube about a month ago and it is a work in progress that I started a while ago and years ago and then didn't touch for a while. And then I think around Christmas time of 2022, I worked on it some to kind of try and get back in the swing of things and it, it was fun, but I didn't, um, work too much on it. This is Santa Stocking by Doreen Jones. 
and my goal for this month was three days on this project because it's a big piece and I I just didn't want to like completely stall out on it now that I'm back stitching quite a bit I have the excitement for stitching again and I didn't want this like large work in progress to like never see the light of day because I would love to have this finished into a stocking and in my in my home so that was kind of the motivation for keeping going on it and so I have as of today I have met my three-day goal what well, kind of three and a half days one day I just did a little bit of it um, I didn't really count that day um, but I have met my goal I think I'm gonna keep going so let me show you what I have so far so this is what is visible in the Q snap. I am using all of the called for colors. Uh, and let me, I don't know what the pattern calls for, what color fabric. It just says the size of fabric. I think you can just like supply your own neutral. And so I believe this is lamb's wool even weave, 32 or 28 count. And so what I have worked on so far is I've done his whole hat. All the hat is new. I have done several lines of the beard here, probably from like the must, this curly cue of his mustache down. Um, these kind of little snowflakey bits. And then I'm currently now working on his mitten. I finished earlier and I'm going up to work on a Christmas tree that he's carrying. And this grime guard is from... Carrie so oops. Carrie sews for you, and I like that it she labels what size it is. And then my needle minder on this one is from Top Knot Stitcher. It's this cute little dapper penguin. Let me see if I can pull off just the bottom part of the Q snap, Q, Q snap, and show you everything that I've done because I am not strong. Okay. So this is kind of the full progress I have on him. So I need to, <laughs> need to connect his beard and then I'll probably just keep going down more and try and finish him out as a whole figure before I start working on um, the like presence and snow at his feet. And then I'll probably save the words for last because I'm scared of figuring out how to center my name on it. So there is Santa's stocking. That's where he'll stay for a little bit. Um, let me, I can wrangle the fabric later. I'll put him over there. And so I think what I'm gonna do is try and finish up that tree and then the snowflakes that go around it. And, cause that's kind of all that will fit currently in the frame of the Q-snap that I have visible to me. So once that's done, that kind of feels like a good stopping point. And then I do have him as a goal for May. So he won't go away for too long after that. So those are all my works in progress. Next, I want to show you my husband's whip. I've shown this. I don't think I showed it last video, but the previous two videos I've shown. He's working on Pretty Little Washington, D.C. by Satsuma Street. And he is doing amazing. Here is his progress. A lot of fill in on this one in colors, or in blocks of color, but he's enjoying it. He's had to rip out, I think only once, just a little bit of this blue I think he had to rip out. It's on 14 count oatmeal, or Fig Fiddler's Cloth oatmeal from Big Box Store. And the called for colors. And yeah, he's gotten some good progress on that one. So that wraps up all the works in progress for this video. Oh, before we go to plants, I wanted to do a few quick thank you shout outs. I, there's two other floss tubers that tagged me in their videos this past, um, kind of like two week period. The first was Gammy Stitcher. So thank you for mentioning me in your video. And the second was Tally Cross Stitch, T-A-L-L-Y. And she, I think I had encountered her first on Instagram and then I just been like so out of the floss tube loop. I've recently started watching her videos and she was very kind and 
uh, gave me a shout out and said some really kind words about um, how excited she was when I came back to, to filming. And that was just very sweet. So thank you so much. And yeah, go check out their channels too. So moving on to May plans, I have two goals written down here in my stitchy planner. The first is three days on Santa stocking. I set myself a three day goal this month and that goal felt like it wasn't scary to pull it out like a whole bunch of time looming ahead of me. Uh, I think I get intimidated by big projects sometimes, but three days felt good and I'm choosing to work on it more. And so that's really fun. I think kind of finishing out April here, I'm going to work on Santa stocking until, like I said, that area of the Q-snap is, is filled in. Uh, if I feel crazy inclined to keep going or move a Q-snap and, and maybe fill in his beard because that gap is going to bug me maybe, uh, I will do that. Um, if that if I feel like good about putting Santa away and I want to work on something else, I'll bring back out be, be a Light and maybe start on the second jar of the little Firefly jars. So... That is the potential happenings for the second half or this um, like last week or two of May. We are going out of town this coming weekend and then we will be going, we'll be staying with family and then going to Carowinds with family. I'm um, like an amusement park here in the state and or I guess it, it like straddles North and South Carolina. Um, but I'm not like, I, so I love Disney World because the rides are themed and they're like, not like crazy wild intense um and I feel like I'm in a story or something but kind of the big just like giant open air roller coasters are not my vibe and so I told my husband that I might bring in like a small cross stitch project into the amusement park because I feel like everyone else in our family that's going loves those big roller coasters and I am more than happy just to people watch and not go on them so I might find like a small easy project to work on but I will update you on that as um as that happens. But after that in May, other than Santa stocking, my other goal is to participate in Mirabilia May. And I want to do that by starting Christmas Eve Fairy by Mirabilia Cross Stitch. What else does it say? Designed by Nora Corbett. Um, this is a kit designed exclusively for Hoffman distributing, it seems. And she is super pretty. I do have the whole kit here. And there's Whisper and Sparkly Threads and Specialty, like, Over Dyes and Beads. <laughs> um, so, yeah, kind of the whole nine yards there. And she's really pretty, and I've never done a Mirabilia or a Nora Corbett before. I do have some others in my stash, but I feel like that was, I, like, love that one so much. I think that's going to be a good one to kind of get me going on it. And I was kind of thinking about my May plans. I know there's a lot of... May events in the stitching world, um, mayhem or mania and um, monogamous May and things like that. I threw around doing monogamous May on Santa stocking because that would probably see a lot of progress and he does move like pretty quickly and he's really fun to stitch on because like the blocks of color and the stripes and things like that. Um, but I figured I'll give myself two projects in the plans for May. So he, I guess two Christmas projects, which is kind of funny. Um, so Santa and this Christmas elf fairy will hopefully be at the center of my May plans. Uh, and I thought maybe the momentum of Mir Mirabilia May would help kind of catapult me into starting my first one. So if you are going to participate in Mirabilia May, let me know below. Um, and if you have an Instagram or a floss tube or anything like that, let me know your name and so I can follow you if I don't already. And I think that's kind of the last plan I have to show you. I, yeah, I'm kind of nervous to start this one because of, like, the Whisper and stuff, but I think Stitch and Mommy has, like, a how-to video on Whisper thread. Because it's fuzzy, I'm scared. I don't know how many strands of Whisper you're supposed to use. I'll find that out in May, I suppose. But let's look at the Whisper really quick. Whoa. <laughs> like, very fuzzy. You can kind of see the light. <laughs> Yeah, so I think it'll probably be used in, like, the muff of her, or the cuff of her dress and, like, her hat and things like that. And so I think it'll be a really cool effect. But, yeah, experience, familiar, Billy Stitcher's um, suggestions are welcome. 
There are also, for this, it's kind of a series, like there's an Easter, I know there's an Easter fairy, a trick-or-treat fairy, harvest one, a harvest fairy, and New Year's Eve fairy. I, yeah, I love all of them. Um, the kits are like a little, exp I mean, they're, they're definitely worth the money, but they're not like a cheap, easy thing to just kind of pick up from, for, for now. I don't know if I love stitching them yet, which I think I will, but, um, I'd love to do like the Easter and Thanksgiving one and things like that. So kind of hoping that rounds out a series. Maybe I can like display them throughout my home, but that'll probably be many years in the making for that. And with that, I think that's the end of this video. I hope um, you enjoyed spending some time here, and I'm really grateful that you did. Sorry, I have my Q-snap thing in my hand still. And yeah, let me know what you're working on down below. I like to hear about what people are, are stitching while they watch my video. And thank you so much. I hope you have a great couple of weeks, and I'll be back soon. Bye.